Welcome back, Cosplayholics! Today I bring you a sew along for circle skirts. You can easily make a circle skirt on your own because it's very easy, I have plenty of tutorials in my page. But if you want to go a little bit faster, I also have a pattern and I will leave you a link in the description to do this one. First, you have to trace the pattern. My pattern in particular, because it was too big, has two sides, so I decided to just do half so you can flip it and it's much easier to store it later on. This one in particular has no seam allowance so I'm just adding the seam allowance with a ruler about a centimeter before I cut it. Just make sure that your fabric is straight and now you can cut it with very very sharp scissors. Remember sewing scissors are just for sewing. Do not use them for paper or anything else or they will go blunt. Once you are done, just remove all the extra fabric and just you don't need the pattern anymore. When you open it you should have half a circle if you are doing a full circle in two parts. Now just make sure you put your sides together, nice fabric facing, nice fabric that means right sides together, pin the sides and you will be ready to sew it. Before I keep going I'm just going to prepare my zipper. I'm using an invisible zipper and the best thing to do with these ones is to iron them first, open the teeth so they lay completely flat. That will help when you are sewing. It should look like this. I am adding the zipper now. Probably the best thing to do would be to baste it in place first, but I don't usually do that. I just make sure it's straight and go ahead with my machine. Just make sure you use the right zipper foot for your machine. Mine is an invisible zipper and what it does, it just puts the teeth very close to the needle, so when it goes it's very easy. Just make sure you go very straight and you just follow the line and you should be fine. Once I'm done with one side, I close the zipper and I place my fabric in place. Just making sure those both parts are still aligned and they look right. Again, you should probably base this but I'm not going to do it because I've done it a million times. Now you open your zipper again and you're going to place it on the other side of your foot. So remember you are using a special foot for this. It comes with most of the machines to be honest. Make sure you go straight and don't worry about the very end of the zipper because you won't be able to go beyond a certain point. Usually that part you can just fix later on with a normal foot zipper and it won't be very noticeable once you are finished. Now I changed my foot to a normal foot and I'm just closing the rest of the fabric. You are also going to have to do the same with the sides of your skirt, your squeeze straight stitch. Just don't forget to iron your seams. It is very important that you do this and it's gonna make a difference for your finished garment. The next step is the waistband. I like placing a little bit of interfacing or waistband tape on the center so it's much more stable and much easier to do. Just remember to go slowly with your iron and just pressing it. A good idea is to just sew the edge of your skirt to make sure it doesn't move when you are adding your waistband on top. 
it makes it more stable if you just run around along the edge with a straight stitch. Now it's the time to add the waistband. It's pretty much like just sewing a very very big bias tape to your skirt. Just sew the edge as usual, making sure you go straight along the edge of your interfacing and just keep moving your skirt because remember your skirt is pretty much a circle so you need to just adjust it so it matches your waistband. And yes, you guessed! More ironing. Ironing is super important to open those seams and make them look perfect. So right now I'm just ironing the waistband to make sure it's all straight. Now you also have to iron the edge of your waistband inwards and this part is going to be hidden later on. Finally, you just want to make sure all those edges face inward, so you are just going to fold your waistband in half and iron it again, just making sure it's all as straight as possible. Here's a little tip. If you do the edge of your waistband first with the sewing machine. You can just trim the edge and turn it and you will have a perfect edge. Just make sure to press it with your scissors to make it as pointy as possible and then you just need to close that waistband with some pins because we are just going to top stitch all along the edge to make sure it's all closed. If you did it right, you should have cut the other side of your fabric and it should be completely straight. Finally, you need to finish that hem. I am using this rolled hem foot, which is a machine that helps me do the hems of skirts or of any other fabric quite easily. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get used to it, you go much faster. And here I am wearing my circle skirt. I hope you like this video and just don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully we'll see you around soon.